Do you want to know how to stop people pleasing with women and be the confident man that she wants? Then definitely watch this video. Hi, I'm Katya Morozova, dating and relationship coach for men who are ready to attract an amazing woman into their life and have a meaningful connection. I'm also the founder of katyamorozova.me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notifications when I post a new video every single week showing you how to be a secure man and attract an amazing woman into your life. Are you really troubled by the idea that you could disappoint a woman? Do you have trouble setting boundaries with women or saying no to women? Do you constantly put a woman's needs in front of yours? Are you afraid of the possibility that a woman won't like you if you don't do the thing that she wants? If any of this sounds like you, then you probably are having a problem with people pleasing with women. Many of the men that I work with, they don't people please in other areas of their life, but they struggle when it comes to women. People pleasing is this pattern that they can't break free of. I made a video recently on how to stop being a nice guy. And in this video, I want to get even more granular and touch on people pleasing specifically so that if you really resonate with this particular piece of being a nice guy, then you can nip this habit in the bud. So I'm going to link to that nice guy video at the end of this video. So definitely watch all the way through. Now let's get into the tips on how you can stop people pleasing with women specifically once and for all. The first tip to stop people pleasing is recognizing a very sobering truth. The reality is that when people people please, they often think that it will get them something. While it may get you something in the short term, like validation or attention or some kind of low level connection or keep a relationship going in the short term, people pleasing can also be used to avoid things like avoiding conflict or avoiding a tough conversation. While those things can be accomplished when you people please, the sobering truth about people pleasing is that ultimately when you do this, you are abandoning yourself. Now, I don't share this as a point of shame. I don't want you to feel that this is a point of shame, but I do want you to understand the gravity of settling for a people pleasing when you want something so much more in your life. When you do this over and over and over again, I want you to consider something. When you people please once, okay, so you do it once, you move on with your life. But typically when people pleasing is a habit and for most people who struggle with this and for people like you who are watching this video and feel like this is a problem in your life, when you do this consistently, when you abandon yourself consistently, ultimately you create a life that doesn't belong to you and that isn't yours. You attract people who believe that people pleasing is just who you are, that it's your nature. So when you do this consistently, you create yourself as a certain type of person, you create your life in a certain kind of way, and you attract people who ultimately think that a people pleaser is just who you are. And then what happens long term is that you set yourself up where women don't really see you. If you are in a relationship, you set your relationship up in a way where you probably often don't get your needs met. A relationship where you are often not seen for who you really are. And when you can break through this habit, you can truly attract the kind of partner that you want. Once you have identified that people pleasing is a challenge for you and that this is a challenge that you truly want to overcome, that this is something that's important to you. The next tip is really giving yourself some space. So here's what I mean by that. When you people please, you often do things that are reflexive. You say yes to things when they're a no. Um, you often will answer too quickly before giving yourself the opportunity to really check in and recognize if this is something that you really want, if you really wanna say yes. 
One of the biggest things that people pleasers do is say yes to things when, when really there are no. The second tip is really giving yourself time, giving yourself the time and space to actually connect to yourself and consider if this if what you're being asked of, if what you are agreeing to is something that you really, really genuinely want to do or not. When you have this reflexiveness, it's difficult to really consider what you want. The way that you wanna slow things down when someone asks you to do something or you're making plans to do something and maybe you have some preferences about what you wanna do, like choosing a restaurant or a place to go. And let's say this woman is wanting you to make a choice and wanting you to you know, pick something or you're responding to your partner who's asking you for something and you ha you're you not quite clear yet if this is something that you want to do. What you want to do is you want to let this person know, you want to let this woman know that you want to think about it, that you need a moment to think about it, that you need a moment to decide. And in that space, you actually get to connect to what it is that you really want and if you actually want to deliver on that. I share this with you as a tip because it's something that I do in my own life and it's something that I also recommend to my clients. And it's something that I've personally worked on for a really long time. And what I find is when I give myself the space to actually consider what it is that I really want and then come back around to making that choice. I always find that when I give myself the space and the time to make that choice, then when I do make that choice, it always comes from a much more aligned place and uh, a place where I later don't resent or regret the choice that I made. As well, when you give yourself time to decide what you really want, and you are not uh, reflexive in your answer, it starts to create this habit where you actually get to check in with yourself about what it is that you truly want. And in that pause where you discover and you look for what it is that you really want, you may notice that tension between uh, wanting to please that other person and, and not wanting to disappoint them, that tension between that and uh, this this yearning for what it is that you truly want. I think that exercise in itself is probably the most important part of actually taking a pause before saying yes to something because it's there it's in that tension where you're actually going to break that that habit of people pleasing and starting to do more things for yourself and uh, and ultimately taking care of yourself because you're already so good at taking care of other people and of women now i want to hear from you do you give yourself the time to respond yes or no to a request that's made of you let me know in the comments below. The next tip to break the habit of people pleasing is to imagine your future self. I want you to do a thought experiment in this tip. I want you to consider what you would be like if you weren't a people pleaser. Who would you be? Imagine your future self and your future life. The future woman that you're with, the relationship that you're in, and for a second, really imagine and put yourself there. Who are you in that relationship? What kind of person are you with and how do they treat you? And really give yourself time to imagine this future self. How do you treat the woman that you're with? What is your dynamic and how is it different from the relationships that you've had before? Now, after you imagine this, I want you to write down who you imagine yourself to be and the life that you imagine in the future where you're not a people pleaser, where you're a confident, secure man, where you're free to ask for what you want. And so now I want you to, you know, characterize this guy, this man that you want to be, this man that you want to become. And once you characterize that, write, write all of that down, then I want you to build that connection with that man and think to yourself, how would that man behave today? What would he do differently? The next time you are in a situation where you normally people please, can you call him in? Can you call your future self in 
and ask him what would he do in this situation? How would he handle this situation? Something that I had one of my clients do was really write down his goals for the future, the relationship that he wanted, the uh, man that he really wanted to be and he went to town on this exercise and he actually uh, did it about 200 percent so <laughs> he did it multiple times and he, every time he did the exercise he put more and more effort into it and uh, it became crystal clear this you know these goals that he had for himself did not align with the current reality of his life and it really pushed him to make some difficult choices in his life. Knowing this version of who he wanted to be, knowing where he wanted to go, allowed him to uh, act from that place, act as if he was already the person that he wanted to become. Because he did that, he was able to leave a very toxic relationship um, that he was in for years uh, and he was able to uh, then attract a partner who was a much better fit for him, someone who really treated him with the respect uh, that he deserved and it allowed him to stand up for things at work that he had never done before and just really create a life of his own design. One of the markers of a confident man, one of the markers of someone who doesn't people please and who really stands up for what he wants is someone who is willing to have difficult conversations. This is the final tip that I wanna share with you guys is having difficult conversations is one of the biggest skills that you can learn that uh, will really transform you from a people pleaser uh, to someone who truly lives the life that he wants. Another way of putting this is what I notice in people pleasers, especially when they start working with me and they really wanna attract an amazing woman into their life, but they keep attracting women who just aren't the right fit, is that they really make these small concessions for things that are very big and very important to them. Basically, those record scratches that you you feel in your relationships when something isn't is off, when something isn't right, you wanna make those record scratches important and you wanna start bringing them into conversation. This is not the easiest tip, this is why I saved this for last, but it is a, an incredibly valuable one. I once had a client who uh, was dating this woman and she was lovely and she had so many things that he wanted in a partner. Um, she was beautiful, she was artistic, um, she was really easy and wonderful to talk to, but she was not really clear about um, her feelings for him. And uh, she was inconsistent with him. Something that was really difficult for him was actually bringing up uh, how she felt about him. She, he ended up asking her how she felt about him. And in her answer, he got his answer. Because she didn't give him the answer that, that he wanted. Um, it was clear that she didn't feel the same way for him and it allowed him to truly let go of the relationship and uh, leave that relationship and attract a woman who was in to him 100%. So if you want to uh, overcome people pleasing, if you want to attract a partner who's really 100% in with you, uh, then having difficult conversations is the final tip that I wanna share with you that will truly revolutionize your life and your relationships. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you truly enjoyed those tips and you found them helpful for overcoming people pleasing. If you would like support with this challenge, if you truly wanna overcome being a people pleaser, then definitely check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's gonna be in the description below. Do you want my case study of how my client attracted a an abundant dating life with beautiful, classy, feminine women, definitely check out that case study in the description below. Did you like this video? If you did, definitely hit the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you wanna get notifications every week when I post a new video showing you how to be secure in your skin and attract an amazing woman into your life, then definitely hit the subscribe button. Okay, I promised you that I would link you to my how to stop being a nice guy video so that's going to be somewhere up here so definitely check that out next